Hi, Ray here. And today I want to give you my review of the Ghost Whisperer jacket by Mountain Hardware. I've had this for about four months, so this isn't a first preview or unboxing test. I actually had this out in some fair weather conditions and some pretty extreme weather conditions as well. So stay tuned. I'm going to tell you how this jacket worked out. The Ghost Whisperer jacket comes in its own stuff sack, which it's in right now. One of the things that I like about this is they've actually put a little tab on here. So if you want to put a little carabiner on here or something and hang it on the back of your pack, it's just a good little handy place to do that. It stuffs down into this sack. Um, in the sack, it weighs um, 7.8 ounces. And I think on its on the website it showed 7.8 or 7.9 ounces, so pretty true to what they said on the website. Pull this out of the stuff sack. And the stuff sack actually is just one of its pockets. And this is what it looks like. <clears throat> now I would not normally run out and buy an orange and I'm going to call that wine colored jacket. Uh, it's just not me. I typically have almost all black jackets or maybe some blue jackets, something like that. But it's a pretty bright color. <clears throat> but when I tell you about the deal I got on this thing later, you'll understand why color is just not that important. So a couple of things about this jacket. One of the things is that it's got a little button right inside here that allows you to reach down and control how tight the hem is or the waist is and then when you just squeeze it again you can pull it right back out so it's very easy to get to very easy to make that adjustment and I really like that feature about this jacket you get out sometimes in the wind feel that wind blowing up under your jacket you can pull this thing out and you can make that uh, much tighter around your waist inside the sleeve it has these elastic cuffs that very gently but securely hold it around your wrist so and that what that allows it to do is that the the down uh, that surrounds your wrist actually comes over that cuff and actually blocks that wind out and keeps the heat in even more so I thought that was a well thought out design this is the hooded version of the jacket and I'm going to put this on a minute so you can see it um, but it comes hooded and Without the hood, without the hood, it is uh, somewhat less expensive than this jacket, uh, but I wanted the hood, <clears throat> so this works great for me. Now coming in at 7.8 ounces, I think you'll agree that this jacket is pretty darn light. One of the reasons for that is this fabric. As I understand it, there's only one manufacturer in the world that makes this fabric, and it's a very, very fine, light fabric, but as far as I can tell, it's pretty durable as well, but certainly that adds to, to the, their ability to keep this jacket so light. It is 800 fill down. It is called Q-Shield down, which means that the, the down feathers themselves have been impregnated with a silicone type product to help them not absorb water as readily as regular down. So as most of you know, one of the knocks on down is the fact that it absorbs water and then it won't retain the heat. This is supposed to do that much less than regular down. Now, as far as the fit goes, um, this is a medium. I'm 160 pounds, 5 foot 11. I'd say it's a little, just a little blousey on me. I've seen some reviews where people have said that they have dropped a size because they want it to fit more snugly. This is the way I wanted mine to fit. I want the sleeves nice and long. I want it to be a little loose so I can layer underneath it, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But this is how the jacket looks. As I've said, it has a hood. So here's how the jacket looks with the hood up. The hood does not have any adjustments, but it does have some elastic around here, so it form fits to your face pretty well. I've not found this to be a problem out in the weather as far as wind goes. So actually, it's pretty well designed. 
This kind of stays out of your eyes when you're looking from side to side. So uh, pretty nice hood attachment with the jacket. So that's how the jacket uh, fits. I have found this jacket to be incredibly comfortable. As soon as you put it on, you can just sense the warmth building up inside this jacket. And this is what I was talking about with the cuffs. The elastic is inside here, but the cuffs and the down-filled portion of the jacket come out over your wrists and really block out any wind from going up inside that jacket. It's just one of the most comfortable jackets I've ever worn. Now, as I said in the opening, I've had this jacket now for four months. I've headed out on multiple, multiple walks and hikes to test it out and see what I thought of it. I would say this jacket, if it's not a really windy day, this jacket will easily take you down into the low 30s uh, with just a base layer like this. Typically, you know, I'll wear a polyester t-shirt and a base layer and then I'll start putting on my jackets. And I'd say with this combination here, you could easily get yourself down into the 30s. Um, I have had it out on some extremely cold days. Uh, one of the days I went out, it was uh, 17 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about negative eight centigrade. And there was about a 14 mile an hour wind. So it was, it was pretty brusque out there. And what I did was I just added a rain jacket with a hood, just a really light rain jacket uh, with a hood and put that over the top of this and on the way back from that walk, when I got into places where I was out of the wind, I actually had to start unzipping uh, to make sure that I didn't get too hot. On another occasion, I was in Iowa. And one thing you know about Iowa, if you know anything about Iowa, is it's always windy there. And the temperature was negative two degrees, which uh, is, I uh, checked on this, negative 2 is negative 19 degrees centigrade. So negative 2 Fahrenheit, negative 19 centigrade, and, and windy. So on that day, what I did <clears throat> was I wore a, an Omni Heat uh, Columbia jacket. So this is a lightweight uh, puffy jacket. This, is, I think, is a 600 fill or 700 fill jacket. And it's got the reflective Omni, Omni heat on the inside. I'm a true believer in this. I think it does a great job. I wore that. Then I wore this over that. And then I wore my rain jacket over that. So polyester t-shirt, base layer, uh, the Omni heat Columbia puffy jacket, the Ghost Whisperer jacket, and then just for wind protection, wore the rain jacket over that. Now, I did in addition to that because negative two with the wind is, is pretty darn cold. I wore a buff, covered my mouth up. The, the picture should be up in the corner. Wore a buff to cover my mouth. And in addition to that, I wore a Columbia beanie, which is also Omni Heat. Again, going out on that walk as cold as it was, at some points I had to zip my jacket down. When I got the wind to my back or got out of the wind, I had to zip that jacket down a little bit to, to a little bit, of, little, little bit of heat out. So I really do think that for most conditions, if you had this jacket and you had a rain jacket with it, you're going to get down into some pretty cold weather and you're going to survive. You're going to be okay. I don't, know, I don't know that I'd want to be sitting around camp at, at 20 degrees with those two jackets on, but as far as walking goes and hiking goes, you would be just fine. Um, at the end of the day, as I said, I am just so impressed with this jacket. It is easily uh, one of the favorite jackets that I've ever bought. If it wasn't for the fact that uh, it, it was it's so darn bright, I'd probably wear it all the time. But I usually keep it for hiking and uh, long walks and things like that. And, and it's just, it's perfect. I love this jacket. Let's talk a little bit about price. If you, uh, if you go online and you look at the price right now for a Ghost Whisperer, and you look on the um, Mountain Hardware website, uh, they're actually listing it now for $350. Now, Often, almost all the time, you can find this jacket for about $200 on sale somewhere. In fact, there was one version that they had 
uh, I don't know whether it was last year's model or a color that wasn't selling, they had it on sale for $200 on the Mountain Hardware website. With the jacket um, without the hood, it's even less. And I've seen some of those jackets as low as $160. This jacket here, I actually found at the Columbia Outlet Store uh, in Iowa. And I had no idea that Columbia owned Mountain Hardware, but they do. And I happened to be uh, walking through the store and I looked over at the clearance aisle, which is where I always, always, always go first. And I saw this bright orange jacket and I thought, yep, um, I put that on the clearance aisle too. And then I pulled it off and I looked at it and I said, holy cow, that's, that's a ghost whisperer. And I knew that these things sold for over $300 new. And um, it was on sale for $159. Now that in and of itself was a pretty good price and I probably would have bought it. But this happened to be Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and they actually had this thing, they had all their clearance items marked down 70%. So I actually got this jacket for less than $50. So for less than $50 for a jacket of this caliber, I couldn't be happier, and the thing could be pink, and I wouldn't care. I would still bought it, and I'd still enjoy it out uh, for the uses that I have for it. So that's that's for uh, I'm actually going to make a separate video about buying clothing like this, um, being a little patient, and finding it on sale, and you can save a ton of money. Um, but at the end of the day, um, this jacket, the Ghost Whisperer, is excellent. Look around, you can find one on sale. I doubt very seriously you're going to find one for the price that I got this one for, but you can probably find them on sale for somewhere around $160 to $200. They're a great jacket. If you're going to spend a lot of money on a jacket, spend it on one of these. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope it was beneficial. Um, again, Ghost Whisperer, two thumbs up as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you like the video, um, please uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments about your thoughts on the Ghost Whisperer or alternative type uh, jackets like the Ghost Whisperer and what your experiences have been. So leave comments below. Thanks very much for watching.